Greetings, Keishling. Keish Prime here with my live reaction of Chainsaw Man, Chapter 77. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Anyway, that's just the thing I do. Anyway, um, but yes. Um, left off. Um, someone is banging on Denji's door. And like, but also there's the kind of parallels with the door that's inside of his head. Don't know what that's really alluding to other than maybe it's the darkness of Pochita or, or maybe just like the, the full power of the chainsaw devil. I don't know. But anyway, so let's see who is, uh, knocking on the door and he's going up to it. What's going on? I'm trying to sleep. And now the phone's ringing. Oh, the phone. Gotta answer the phone. The doorbell's ringing. Aren't you going to answer the door? Oh, yeah, I know. Just give me a minute. Don't open the door. Why not? Hmm. Hmm. And then, of course, there obviously was the whole thing with, like, what the hell is Makima like capable of she seemingly is taking over like 22 percent of the gun devil also in the last chapter so like she's on a power level like we've never seen before apparently um anyway he answered the phone who is it it's makima denji have you seen the news no i just woke up i'll give you the short version what the gun devil appeared out of without warning. We failed to defeat it. It took over a dead body and got away. She's lying. That gun fiend is now ringing your doorbell. What? How would you know that? Like, that makes no sense at all. <laughs> Come on. That's not funny. Why would the stupid gun show up at my front door? Miss Makima? Did it go dead? Well, hey, well, you can count on me. Lucky we... Uh, he came to us instead of the other way around, huh? Saves us on travel fare. Denji. This time, don't think about anything while you fight. What? So he actually is there? Is that what's actually going on? I don't know. Hmm. So she wants him to fight instinctually, I guess, which would probably draw out more of his latent power, I imagine. Okay, he hangs up the phone. Hey, why can't we open the door? How did you hear that? Like, it's not like, it's an old style rotary phone. There does, isn't there in a speaker on that thing? And she was, and she's like halfway across the room. Hmm. I guess fiend hearing, I suppose. Um, oh, right, um, Magma says, it's a gun fiend at our door, I guess. What are you talking of? What are you, what? You're talking nonsense. No, really, Magma said so. You're such a fool. She's gonna go open the door, isn't she? Topknot still hasn't come home, remember? He's the one ringing the doorbell. Why would he be ringing the doorbell of his own fucking apartment? It makes no sense. Also, the fact that apartments necessarily have their individual, like, you know, doorbells is kind of weird as well, but... Because, like, that's not typical, is it? Maybe it's a, more of a thing in Japan. I know call boxes are definitely a thing more in, you know, America. Hey, that's you, right, Aki? And, yep, she opened the door and... Empty hallway. Hmm... Okay, we see their shoes by the door. They've been folding clothing. They're, uh, got some dishes. There's the kitty and dingy. Power, take Meowie and leave from the balcony. What? Why? Power, come on, Meowie. We're going outside for a walk. Yeah, from the balcony? <laughs> He's getting her out of the way so she doesn't get hurt, and he's going to fight without thinking, right? He's going to the door. It's just in case, that's all. There's no way some stupid gun guy would bother to come greet me, right? Miss Makima's playing a prank, right, Aki? Oh. 
Okay. Um, literally is a gun fiend. That dude is actually my, she might have been telling the truth. God, what is that? No, that's not Aki, is it? No, it can't be. Doesn't have the top knot. Um, but yeah, it's Gun Devil, all right. Got the gun through the face, like where the eyes are, and you can even see where it's kind of overtaking the rest of the eyes to just cover them. And then you got like a a trigger, which weird because like that's not necessarily like a kind of pistol that you would typically have, like a you know trigger firing pin, not firing pin. What? It, oh God, I'm suck at the hammer. That's the um, that's the part I'm thinking of, I think. I'm probably wrong. I'm not a gun person, people. But anyway, it's like, that's coming out of the back of the head, and then we got, like, some kind of semi-automatic, fully automatic assault rifle here as the left arm. Weird. Um, she's serious? <laughs> oh, so this is for real, gotcha. Well, uh, do we fight? Dingy. Oh, so that's just your straight-up arm. Okay. Um, because it's just, like, pointing it at him now. Why do you know my name? And there's Aki. Is that a flashback? Brr, it's so cold. Why did I go outside? Denji? What? But this is, like, Aki when he was a kid, right? When he, his parents died. Right? And it's like... But why is Denji there? <laughs> and now throwing a snowball. Oh, it's a snowball fight. Whoa, okay, well you just... If, that, if I'm looking at that panel right, it looks like you've been blasted through and it's bisected him. <laughs> I'm assuming that was a bullet. <laughs> Unless that was just the way that the panels were drawn, because there is a line, but it... It's sometimes hard to tell people the way panels can be drawn, you know? A lot of people doing laundry, apparently, in this apartment, because every single apartment, their balcony just has clothes hanging up. And he's flying out the... Yep, he was bisected. I can clearly see it now. As he flies out the window. My apartment! <laughs> so, uh, Power's finally in the know. Ah, uh, Dingy. Yeah, his uh, entrails are kind of just there on the floor, and he's pulling the pulling the chain. Um, let's see here. Power, hide. It was a gun fiend after all. I'll take care of him. Gun fiend? How the... Oh, wait. He's on the ground beside her, I bet. Okay. I was like, how that... Where the hell did he end up? <laughs> how was she able to hear him? But then again, super hearing, apparently, because of the phone thing earlier. Gun fiend, but that's not possible. Huh? Because it was Aki sent in the entrance. That was Aki, after all. You mean his little top knot became the hammer? <laughs> and he's kind of got the chainsaw blade coming out of his forehead right now. Don't lie to me right now. Nope, here, here, here they come. Ah! And he blasts the ground. Did the power get away? It can't really say. Oh. Okay. Um. Dingy is blocking her. She's got Maui. And then you got this gun fiend, Aki, maybe, is like pointing his gun directly at her. But has probably got his uh, face chainsaw through the shoulder of the gun fiend so in any, in either case someone's about to get horribly maimed or shot so yeah and that's how the chapter ends apparently. interesting okay so i'm guessing uh, makuba actually is it powerful enough right now to take on at least that much of the gun devil that part seems to be fairly clear or at least it's alluding to that fact because otherwise why would she have called him and everything other than it's like it escaped 
So either she didn't, she wasn't powerfully enough, or it just straight up escaped. You know, it was like, oh, you're trying to control me? Well, we're transferring over to this body. But weird if that's actually Aki, apparently, because power could smell him, unless that's just a generic character that somehow stole his clothes? I don't know. So I'm just assuming it's Aki for the time being, for the obvious reason. Um, weird how his top knot got replaced, though. That's kind of weird. But I, it's, aesthetically, it works, you know? But, uh, yeah, that's sad if that is him. So... Hmm. Yeah. The, uh... I'm not sure how to think what's going to happen. So it escaped and tracked down. I guess it probably used the memories of Aki, if that's Aki, to find his way home and go straight to the Chainsaw Devil because, you know, everyone wants the Chainsaw Devil for whatever. I still don't get, like... I can understand having a fear of chainsaws, but, like, not on the level of guns, you know? Because, like, chainsaws eventually run out of gas. <laughs> and they're a melee weapon, so, like, you could probably outrun someone. And it's not like you can throw it like a, you know, a hatchet or something. So, <laughs> it's not like the you have to keep throttling it and everything and keep the blade going otherwise it would just kind of maybe cut you a little bit hurt you physically with blunt damage so i still don't get this whole fixation with the chainsaw devil are we ever going to find out at this point i i kind of doubt it anymore but but it obviously wants to take out dingy at least dingy it might take out power as well, or at least maybe it's actually going to negotiate. It's like, let our two weapons merge. We will become the Chainsaw Gun. <laughs> I mean, I think Gears of War did that. Like, it was literally like a massive, like, like, not even a rifle. It was like a blaster kind of shotgun kind of thing. And it had a chainsaw on the end instead of like your typical rifle bayonet combo. So maybe that's something. And if that's the case, if uh, like Denji or, you know, even this gun fiend could like acquire a little bit of the other's power, that would be awesome. Fusion devils. Um, that could actually be a fun and very terrifying way of combining devil powers, you know? Instead of, like, using one power at the same time, or one at a time, or using them at the same time, but they're being, you know, obviously they're separate. This would at least be, you know, more combined. Like, how about bullets instead of, like, the little bits on the chains and stuff, and it's like, you know, like they, had, like, the gunpowder or something, and then they're explosive? It's like... As it spins, it's like doing explosions as it's cutting through you or something. That would be awesome. Um, but yeah, I don't know where this is going. Um, other than Denji may be horribly maimed and taken hostage by the gun fiend Aki, but who knows. But anyway, let me know your thoughts and opinions on this and where you think this might be going. Um, but yeah, check out my other content, see what you like, suggest things for the future. Uh, links down below for all my social media so you can stay in loop for my content and also ways to contact me. I stream on Twitch where I do gaming and I'll tweet it out live when I go live. Uh, part of the One Punch Man podcast on Grim Reaper's channel, so go check that out. And as always, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, Keishlings, shouldn't have uh, opened that door, power.